Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Premier League Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at my team, seeing how well they performed in game week one. Then we move ahead to game week two. Here we go. So as you can see, for game week one, my team has scored 95 points. Wow, what a start to the Premier League season. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I hope that you had a fantastic start. I hope that I've helped you in some kind of way. So I'm going to go through my team, um, but I'm just going to quickly look at like the average and so on. So as you can see, the overall average is around 68 points. Um, the top 10K is 95 um, and I'm around 717,000 in the world. That doesn't mean nothing right now because that will change with like only, I don't know, five or six points, I'll be around 200K mark. So that, 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 there's a there's a like massive difference with one or two points. So don't worry about the overall rank right now. I know some people's already got like 110, 120 points. It is fine. If you haven't done well, do not worry. This is just game week one. I have seen so many FBI managers out there started off really badly and they finished the season off with a fantastic rank. Trust me on this. Trust me. Like even mine, I started off well. I might do really badly in game week two. Anything can happen. So don't worry about it. Let's continue with the video. So let's go step by step. I'm just going to quickly give you guys my review on my players and then we move on to game week two. Okay. So Sanchez with only two points um, conceded really early on against Burnley. Uh, to be honest with you, there wasn't many clean sheets out there. Martinez lost his clean sheet as well. So that kind of worked out for a lot of people. I'm just going to hope that it does well next time. If we look at the defence, we've got the two Liverpool defenders here. Now, Timis Cash, a player that is 4 million. I can tell you that he made a lot of mistakes, but it was actually very attacking and he took some of the corners. And that is a good thing to see. So I think this is just a short term thing. Um, once Robertson comes back, then yeah, yeah, we will have to think of to remove him. Uh, I'm quite glad that Liverpool did keep a clean sheet because Jota returned, um, which didn't help my rank. So, kind of worked out well. Sure, there we've only won. Well, a lot of people has them in the team, right? So, yellow card, only one point. Oh, well. Uh, Trent there with six. Happy days. So, that clean sheet did help me out a lot. Now, if we look at the midfielders, I went, like, I went for big big differentials i think if i played it safe if i bought in antonio and i had antonio in my team for such a long time i think i would have got an additional 10 points so i would have hit that 105 points mark but i wanted to take a little bit of the risk i had some kind of plan of bringing a uh, or having a a um, manchester city player but you can see right now they're not really playing really well uh yeah they're just that was just horrible to, it was just, yeah, it didn't look good. Uh, I guess they just need all of their best players to come back. But they've already got great players. I don't know why, what was wrong with them. I guess I guess Spurs played really well there. So I didn't watch the match that much. But um, with some of the highlights that I've seen, yeah, didn't look good. So big differentials of Mares, Barnes and Ben Rama. Ben Rama, I mean... Low owned, go like so. Basically, the idea was like well, my last thought was, shall I like only go f like I wanted to go for with one um, West Ham player? It was either Antonio or Ben Rama. I just thought to myself, you know what, Ben Rama is playing really well in the preseason, and that was the case. That was the case. We were right. Well, I was right, <laughs> it worked out. Um, 6.8, I went with that differential, but Antonio scored as well, so that didn't help out. It's fine, it kind of matched out there um mares is like was a massive differential for me as you can see the eight percent so i'm actually quite happy that i went with the differentials um but i'm just gonna hope that he plays against norwich at home that is that is why i bought in a manchester city player barnes we kind of knew that it would only play about you know 70 80 minutes anyway um it's a shame they didn't return I actually did not watch this game, so I'm not sure how well he played. Um, but once like today's over, I'll have a look at the uh, highlights and stuff like that. 
Um, but Salah as the captain has worked out really well for everyone. One goal, two assists, as you can see there, one clean sheet point there, three bonus points. I mean, that is a lot of points there. 17 points. Amazing. And yeah, like we all wanted to captain him and it worked. It's, it's weird. Like this, people are talking about template, how it's horrible or whatever. People copying each other. The, why? The reason that we got a template is because these are the players that we want in our teams because we looked at the fixtures. And some of them will, some of them won't work, like, you know, Mares and Barnes. And some of them might work, like, um, like Jota and Ben Rama and Greenwood. So we done all right. I think most of us who's done content, we done all right. Um, Fernandez, we did not expect him to score three goals, but he scored three goals. So what a return there, 20 points. And Ben Rama there, saving the day, one goal, one assist, um, very good performance in the second half. Um, yeah, very good, very happy with this pick. And as you can see, the forwards, I've got Ings and Tony. So Ings actually scored a goal against Watford, which is good news. You know, we bought Ings because of these fixtures. He has returned. That's what we asked for, and that's what we're going to get, and that's what we've got. So happy days there. Tony didn't really had a lot of touches in that match against Arsenal, although Arsenal played really, really bad, guys. I'm telling you, they played so bad. It's, it was just disgusting. Tony, it could have been Antonio, but you know what? We've seen how Brentford is playing right now. And Tony is their main guy. I know other players out there um, in their team scored the points. But I think Tony will get something. So I'm not in a rush to remove anyone right now. And as you can see on the bench, this was uh, the bench that I went with. And Eileen actually scored the goal. Um, but yeah, I mean, wasn't I don't think anyone was expecting him to get a return. So happy days. 95 points. Inside the top million in game week one is a great start. Let's move on to game week two. Now, I told you guys so many times that I am thinking to bank the transfer in game week two. And that is what I really want to do. I do not want to take a hit. I do not want to make a transfer. But if we find out that one of of one of my players is injured or I think that they might not play I might change it around but it's early stages it's just to have a look at early transfers um, but I'm pretty set with this I mean I set my team up for the first three game weeks then we'll see how it goes you know Lukaku right now you know has gone to Chelsea so I'm looking at him I'm looking at Son so I'll go through my transfers in a second but let's just have a quick look at the lineup so got Sanchez in goal against Watford there's a chance, you know, Brighton is at home, but Watford is doing that counter-attack kind of gameplay. Might work out really well for them, but we'll have to see. As for the defenders, I've got Simicash, um, Shaw, and Trent. So I've got a two Liverpool defenders there against Burnley. I think this is a good, good fixture at home for Liverpool to keep a clean sheet. I'm hoping there's no rotation at the back, but I think they probably will play the same team that they did against Norwich. Shaw, I think... Like always, great player. We're just going to hope that he returns for us. Now, the only big problem that I'm looking at my team and I'm seeing is Mares and Tony right now. However, Mares, I'm happy that I started with him because he has the potential to do really well. I'm just going to hope that he starts against Norwich. Now, as for the midfielders, I've got Mares uh, at home against Norwich. Now, I'm just going to hope that he starts this game. This is why I bought in a Manchester City player. But right now, because they didn't perform really well against Tottenham, I don't think a lot of people will go out there and bring in a Manchester City player right now. But ideally, it will be a good option to have because they got a really good chance to do really well at home against Norwich. Barnes is a player that I'm looking out to transfer out in the future. I'm hoping that he returns early. But I've got players like um, Greenwood and Rafinha that I can look at uh, in game week three. So those are my possibilities of my transfers, but we will see. And Salah is going to be my captain at home against Burnley. 
Uh, Fernandez is a great captain option as well uh, away against Southampton. Southampton's defense is a little bit leaky. Uh, ben Rama, uh, difficult fixture here against Leicester City. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm hoping that he takes the next penalty because Antonio missed. I'm hoping that he takes it and he, he has he might have a chance to take the next penalty. Ings against Newcastle. This is a fantastic fixture for Ings to get big returns. So I'm happy that uh, he's in my team right now. And Tony, I'll give him this shot against Crystal Palace. So this is the team. I will go more in detail with this uh, on Tuesday and on my team selection video on a Thursday. Um, but if we look at the bench, I've got Eileen here that I can play and it can like help me out if there is any issues with my players. So I'm trying my best to bank the transfer. I know there's going to be some price rises and all this stuff. It's fine for now. I do have um, 0 0.5 in the bank, so that will help me out. Anyways, let's have a quick look. So the players that I actually want to go for, um, nothing from... Um, Brentford for now but I am looking at the options and I'm going to be doing a transfer video on a Tuesday uh, Arsenal I'm not going to go anywhere near them for Manchester United uh, Greenwood is on my radar is a player that I would like in my team's a big differential so I can swap Barnes to um, Greenwood straight swap no problem at all Barnes is what 7 million right yeah 7 million I can do that and bring Greenwood in straight away in game week 2 but I think I've got a, a really good, like, balanced team. Yeah, I, I, I really want to bank the transfer, guys, because I do want to try and get in, like, maybe Lukaku or something, or maybe Son. Um, as you can see there, Pogba with four assists. I mean, that is just, that's just crazy. That's just crazy there. Um, Burnley and Brighton, not really looking at any of their players right now. Kind of felt that Brighton would do well. We, we predicted that Chelsea would do well against Crystal Palace, and that was the case, although Havertz didn't return. It, it's weird that he didn't return with all of these players actually returned. So, yeah, it was a crazy game for, for Havertz that is not returning. The fact that there was um, concerns over Richarlison uh, and Cavalier, that was one of the reasons why we, you know, we didn't start with any Everton uh, attack. Um, but... Definitely looking at Cavalier, maybe Richarlison has a big differential, um, but I think that most of us has a decent team anyway. Um, for Leicester City, I'm not looking at Jamie Vardy, but Pereira is someone that I've got my eye on. Uh, if he can keep himself fit, I think he will be a great option. He's someone that is very attacking. Um, if we go to Watford, so I was in my team such a long time ago, um, but I removed him. And yeah, you know, I mentioned them before, so around that 6 million mark. And don't forget, like Ben Rama is that 6 million mark. So that's why I'm, I made this team. It's very balanced. Um, the fact that I can go to any player that I want with one or two moves. That's, that's why I went with this team. I'm quite happy that I went with this team because I went with like really... I, at least like three big differentials that if they did well then that would have given me those extra points here Mane didn't return I know a lot of people were looking at Mane because he had a really good uh, pre-season but I think that happened last year and Salah got more points than Mane in the first game that was the case I'm looking at Jota but I don't think I can bring him right now because I've got three Liverpool players right now uh, maybe later on but we'll see for West Ham, yeah, I'm always looking at Antonio. He should have been my team a long time ago. But I'm happy that I bought him Ben Rama and he returned as well. So that kind of cancelled him out a little bit. Um, and for Spurs, Son is, is the number one pick. Um, but I don't want to take a hit right now. So I got my eye on bringing him in game week three. If the price goes up, then so be it. But we'll see. So for now, I'm... Those are my plans. We will see how it goes. We'll, you know, it's still early days. But the idea is to kind of bank the transfer in game week two and maybe remove Barnes and Mares and bring in Son and uh, Rafinha. So I'm just going to add Rafinha here. So I'm just going to go to Leeds. Um, this will be in game week three. I know I'm looking a little bit ahead, but this is what I like to do uh, to kind of plan things out. So this will be something 
like yeah two free transfers for these players we'll see anyways guys it's early days what a start i hope you guys had a fantastic weekend i hope that i have helped you in some kind of way enjoy this video um if you do see a video from me on a sunday that means that i'll post another additional two more videos this week so i'm looking to post another one on a tuesday and a thursday if you don't see me post a video on a sunday because of like i don't know me being busy or not at home or something like that then that means that i will be able to post the video on a monday and wednesday so anyways guys thank you so much for joining i hope you guys had a fantastic weekend if you're new to the channel please do subscribe and smash the hell out of that like button let's see if we can get up to about 200 likes for the fantastic start thank you so much guys and i'll see you guys next time see ya